me, content creator, favorite boyfriend, girlfriend, day friend. Listen, you know what this video is about. You saw the thumbnail and the title. You know, you know what it's about. So let's let's just let's just do the video. So Asmongold uh, tweeted this. Asmongold said, uh, "Looks like Twitter is mad about me not supporting protesters' first right amendments to build a rust base on campus and block students from going to class." Keep crying about it, guys. If you're loud enough, you might end up on tomorrow's video. So that was the bravado he started off with. And to catch you guys up, there have been protests happening across college campuses all throughout the United States, and at this point, across the world, in retaliation to the ongoing genocide, the ongoing, uh, ongoing atrocities being committed by Israel against Palestinians. That is what all this protest is about, okay? He has on record multiple, multiple times been very, very clear he is against the protesters. He thinks any form of protest is bad. He has a tweet that talks about how, hey, uh, we're not doing anything by protesting in the middle of the road and someone's trying to get to work, like, get out of the road. Like, he's that guy. If this was in 1960s, he's absolutely getting mad at the civil rights movement. Even though he's trying to say that he wouldn't, he absolutely would, given his reaction to this. So... He then gets, uh, you know, checked by Hassan, and they have this whole long dialogue through the comment section, through here, and eventually a two-hour video, which I did, I did sit through, but a two-hour video of which Hassan is just explaining to Asmongold essentially why he's wrong and why it's good for the students to be protesting against this, and Asmongold just moving the goalposts and then just centering on the point that, well, you know, essentially. They need to be able to protest in a way that goes into accordance with the law every single time, for every single second. And the second that it doesn't, they should be allowed to be attacked by police. That's that's where he he lands on this, which is why he made this original comment. And I just wanted to real quickly, I want to show you a bit of the conversation he had with Hassan. And then I want to contrast that to another video he had that came out very recently. And you'll see my confusion here. So first, let's do the Hassan one. But I also think that at the same time, there should never be a situation where a bunch of people get together and they force a group of people to do something in a way that's non-democratic. Okay. So you heard that part, right? He doesn't want a bunch of people getting together and doing something to force someone to do something undemocratic. Okay. And let's go a little bit backwards. Because there is this I idea, I think it was JFK yeah. who said it, that um, like... Uh, uh, a, a violent retaliation to, uh, what is it? It's like, I think, uh, People violent suppression, violent violence, suppression of peaceful uh, action makes, uh, makes violent makes retaliation violence. a necessity. Yeah. Yeah. I, th I think that's about it. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're saying the same thing. Like, I know what you're talking about. And so, yeah, I, I, I feel like you're, you're definitely right. And that nonviolent action, I think should be not going to that university don't go there vote for things that and vote for people that will represent your interests in a way that's authentic and will enable you to change policy in a way that you think reflects what your views are uh, okay. I, I totally agree with that and that's that's what i think needs to happen much more all right so you heard him say that you heard the first part and you heard him say that he thinks that these people shouldn't go to the school just don't go there anymore leave that's his idea all right when faced with a situation you see you uh, you think is unfair, just leave, just go, be done with it. All right. I want you to hold out your mind's eye while we go to this other video of Asmongold. This is Asmongold's now reactions to people talking about Stellar Blade. About this, right? I mean, and, and they're saying like, why do you give a shit about this, etc. It's so tiresome. Here's the reason why people care. It's because they're having their content changed to appeal to a people, a group of people that are not them. So it's like, it's very easy to say, why does this matter to the person after you've already got what you want? But I think a lot of people just don't want to be told what to do. They don't want to be told what they can and can't like, especially not by a bunch of randoms on Twitter and then have it taken away from them as if they're wrong. All right. So... It's, it's telling to me, it's telling to me that Asmongold can have a nuanced take 
as far as censorship goes over a video game and that hey people don't want to be told what to do these people paid for something and they wanted to act in the way that they paid for but then to apply that to actual real censorship happening on the campus it's just leave why can't just hey you pay for the game it's not you want it well just just leave just return it play a different game you don't have to play Stellar Blade, but no, he's in support of a petition to change the game back to how they wanted it to. And he's in support of that. He's saying people should care. People don't be told what to do. It's tiring that people are, you know, saying, why do you care about this? But when it comes to a college university, when it comes to protesting genocide, when it comes to people using their freedom of rights, their free speech to protest genocide at an establishment, at a university that they pay to attend, I just leave. Just go somewhere else. Why are you even here? Go somewhere else. Like that's the ideological inconsistencies of this guy. He only cares about this shit when it's something that he's interested in. Otherwise the rules don't apply anymore. It's censorship to have, you know, the uh, outfit redesigned in one of the characters of a video game, but having the police beat the shit out of protesters, oh, he loves it. He laughs at it. He made it content. He, like, he legitimately laughed at that shit. And law enforcement all within that area right now, but things are being passed out as we speak. Uh, the screaming, the shouting, the Fuck bang, around the and find the out. Right here. The encampment that's been in place now for several days after yesterday. Uh, yep. More and more of these uh, Palestinian supporters arrived on. Uh, yeah, they're finding out. Campus, I'll tell you that. That's that's what sparked us to begin with. This is why I even did this video to begin with. He finds it engaging to watch that kind of stuff. And his whole two hour interview with uh with Hassan, he backtracks on everything because he gets the slightest pushback. Like, oh no, I agree, but. But he has to circle back to the, well, the police are right. They said to leave, so leave. Hey, Shift Up said they want to change their design. And now you're like, no, you can't do that. That's censorship. That's bad. But the police beating the shit out of protesters who, again, are exercising their rights. It's, it's insane to me. And then going back to the Twitter thread, like the whole thing that started with Hassan, right? He's talking about how Hassan explains to him that these guys were set up. Uh, because they were having a peaceful protest and then these uh, Zionist agitators come over here and then he's just like, oh, well, what's this? And then he has like a Reddit post and then Hassan replies to that. And Asma goes just like, I don't see him. I don't see him trying to harm anyone here. He's just talking to them. How is that a problem? That is one of the most disingenuous things someone can say. Just because at the exact moment you're looking at him Mind you, he has bear spray at the protest, which you're not allowed to have. He has bear spray there. He's been there repeatedly throughout the week to agitate them, to get them to, uh, to dox them, to harm them, to cause harm to these people. So they don't want him there because they're not doing it that exact moment that he has this picture. What's the problem? Like it's, these aren't <laughs> serious takes. And then Hassan corrects him on that. And then he goes like, where are the videos of him starting fights then? If I look behind the people blocking him, there aren't any encampments at all either. I'm fine to condemn the guy, but I don't see any evidence of him doing anything wrong right now. That's insane. That is insane. If you saw Adolf Hitler walking around on the street and Hitler didn't die, he's walking around the street, you'd be like, well, he's not murdering any Jewish people now, so I guess he's the good person. No, that's not how that works. But for people like Asmongold, it has to work that way. It has to be happening immediately now in front of them from the give a shit. Otherwise, why do you care? That's why he says stuff like, well, you know, uh, what does blocking the roads in America have to help with uh, Palestine? It's like, how do you not understand? He's even, uh, if I can find the clip, I will put it here or the, the post, I'll put it here. He even talked so much, he was talking about like, oh, well, um, he doesn't care about what happens to the Palestinians. I, I don't really give a fuck about what Palestine's problems are or Israel's problems are, but if somebody is blocking the road, I do care. And I will tell you also that if they are blocking the road and I'm trying to get through the road, I will reflexively be against them. Like, what are you for? Okay. Like, he doesn't. And this exemplifies it. 
if he's a student, he can't go somewhere in the school because people are blocking him. It's wrong. They have no right or justification to decide who can and can't go somewhere on campus. I don't see how anyone could defend this. And it's just, it's just, it's such just pure brain rot, which explains a lot. But like his, his, his stances are so weak. They are so weak. And again, you guys, he is able to try to attempt nuance when it comes to stellar blade when it comes to when it comes to a video game he's able to be like oh we know people just don't like told what to do they want to be at freedom of expression they want all these things i understand that but then when it has to do with real life it's the cops are good actually that's they should do that all the time now it's 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 fantastic and i'm just like how are you supporting this? Like, even if you guys are trying to be like, he's just a game guy. He doesn't care about politics, which he very clearly does. He doesn't care about politics. He just wants a good game. Okay. He got the good game. And now he's like, oh, I want to actually shift it up because, you know, the politics. Perceived politics in this game. He thinks it's people being too woke uh, about this game. And so he wants them to get their rights back. Like, it's... It's just not consistent. And you know what I find the most annoying about all of this is he's just going to make this uh, I'm getting canceled video again. Like he does all the time. Every time he fucks up, every time he does this, it's I'm being canceled. I'm being canceled. I'm being canceled. Asmongold, you have like millions of followers on both uh, YouTube and Twitch and a lot of followers on Twitter. Okay. No one's canceling you. You keep doing this as a running bit, but because nothing matters to you. That's the problem here. You don't care about things. You don't care about actual real things. You give lip service to it. Again, I watched that whole <clears throat> two hour video with Hassan. You say, yeah, I agree with you. I agree, uh-huh, I agree with you. But you give lip service because when it's actually time to put actions behind it, you're the first one to be like, well, they should listen to the cops. Well, they should have done this. There's countless video of you gleefully gleefully laughing when the police are destroying encampments harming students hurting people in general you are laughing about it you're happy about it no there's no amount of pr tour you can do to be like hey you know what actually <clears throat> my bad no you like that shit. and i know that's the case because i went to your account and i saw your other videos and you're talking about how it's a good idea that uh Elon Musk reinstates Nick Fuentes, a white supremacist. And for some reason, in the titling of a YouTube video, white supremacist is in air quotes, as if Nick Fuentes isn't a self-avowed white supremacist. Uh, Fuentes on Rumble openly asked for the total extermination of many ethnic groups uh, with a rhetoric that would make a Nazi blush. Well, it, he's not, guys, he's not calling for extermination of ethnic groups. It's of cookies, okay? Come on, you've got to get it right. And I think that this kind of stuff, I, I do agree with Elon with the fact that it's better to have this kind of stuff out in the open, because I feel like a really good example of this is Andrew Tate. I feel like after Andrew Tate got reinstated to Twitter, it became a lot more obvious that some of the things that he was saying were just fucking stupid. And I think that the more that people actually see the opinions of anybody, the more that people can actually discuss what those opinions are and the validity or lack of validity of them, right? Not kind of true? Yeah, and so this is what he says. Uh, but like, no. And your reasoning is, oh, well, you know, we should allow everyone to do this and everyone to be like that. But then at the same time, in other video, you're talking about how, again, for the protest, you're talking about, imagine if the world acted that way. It'd be chaos. We can't allow everyone to do whatever they want all the time. And it's like, you're not ideologically consistent. What gives you the unique moral authority to take to break the law because of what you believe in? What gives you the right to do that? Well, you don't have that right. So don't be surprised whenever people get you out of the fucking road and arrest you. It's yeah, it's narcissistic and entitled. That's insane. It's like these people think that the world revolves around their issue. There's thousands of issues in the world. Is Israel Palestine the only place where bad things are happening? Look at Ukraine. No. What if everybody acted that way? The world would be chaos. You can't realistically act that way. 
I don't know, dude. Like, obviously, this video, when it goes up, it's getting a lot of flack because he has a bunch of dick riders who will defend his honor no matter what. But how are you guys defending this person? How are you guys defending someone who is not consistent and will just say whatever is the most middle of the road take he could possibly have while secretly trying to be more right leaning? Because when he's pressed by Hassan in that video, he is literally going like, ah, well, you know. I agree with you. I agree. I agree. But when Hassan wasn't pressing him, aka on Twitter before Hassan got there, he's all about police brutality. He's all about that shit. So again, like, how are you guys defending this person? How are you guys trying to say he's apolitical? How are you guys doing any of any of that? When he's letting you know what kind of person he is. And the kind of person that he is, not a great one. 